Hey everyone, welcome back. So I've been navigating the world of websites for a while, and I'll tell you this much, figuring out the best web hosting service is no walk in the park. There's a lot of choices out there, not to mention all the tech speak you have to wade through, and if you're anything like me, you're all for cutting through the tech babble to keep things straightforward. On my quest for the perfect web host, I stumbled upon Hostinger and thought, why not share the love? Besides, Valentine's Day was not long ago, let's bring the love to the people. So here we are with a review to let you know what they're all about and why they've earned my thumbs up. In this video, I'm breaking down their features, slicing through the tech jargon so you don't have to have an IT degree to get the gist, and weighing the pros and cons. Plus, we'll talk about what they're going to cost you, helping you figure out if they're the right fit for your needs. Just to set the record straight, Straight though, I'm not sponsored to do this review. I'm all about sharing my genuine opinions with you, but full transparency, I do get commission if you decide to use our site starters code from the description below. Plus, using our link hooks you up with some exclusive perks like site wide discounts and a free trial period that you won't get by going directly to their sites. That being said, from my experience, Hostinger is a solid pick for startups. It's budget friendly without lacking on effectiveness. Now, it might not pack all the fancy features you'd find with services like Bluehost, for example, such as heaps of storage or a buffet of security options, but it's reliable and offers a no-frills approach to web hosting and development tools, perfect if you're not looking for all the bells and whistles. Now, diving into Hostinger, they've been a web hosting player since 2004, and for the longest time, they've been all about hosting services, but it wasn't until 2019 that they expanded their horizons into website development. Since branching out, Hostinger really up their game by rolling out a tool that lets customers whip up websites with a simple drag and drop interface and then park those sites right onto their servers. They've essentially morphed into a one-stop destination for both web hosting and development. Fast forward to early 2023 and they launched a game changer, an AI web development tool. This neat feature cuts down on the grunt work of website building, letting AI handle the heavy lifting. Ha, take that, Cybernet. And getting started is a breeze. Just punch in your details, choose your plan, and boom, you're in the tools dashboard ready to either start building your new site from scratch or move your existing ones over. I personally really like their 30-day free trial. It's a great way to tinker with their tools, get the hang of things without dropping a dime, really. And hey, there's no shame in taking your time to learn the ropes. Even the pros do it, given every tool has its quirks. Now, let's dive into what they offer and the price tag so you can decide if it's something that you want to look at. Now, there's quite a bit to unpack here, so stick with me. It's always better to have the full picture before making a purchase rather than discovering surprises down the line. Hostinger lays out three distinct plans, each tailored with its own set of features. You're getting a bunch of tools across the board, such as an AI-powered SEO recommendation tool to boost your site's visibility, a user-friendly drag-and-drop website builder, and their standout AI website builder. They don't stop there, though. You also get access to 150 pre-made templates that you can customize to your heart's content, if that's how you like to enjoy your Saturday afternoons. And there's also Google Analytics integration for a tight grip on your Google Ads, marketing tools, integration to streamline your efforts, and AI heat maps to see where your visitors linger or interact the most on your site. And just a heads up, all these web building tools are powered by WordPress, which is pretty much the gold standard in the industry right now. Moreover, let's touch on the safety features that come standard with all plans, because keeping your site secure is non-negotiable. Each plan includes DDoS protection to fend off those nasty fake traffic floods that can knock your site offline, a solid firewall, a virus scanner to keep the bugs at bay, and secure access controls to ensure only the right people can tinker with your site's backend. Moreover, let's talk about Hostinger's plans. So the first one is the premium plan, which is priced at three bucks a month, which is not a lot of money, but you also get a lot of value for that. So with this plan, you can host 100 websites, which is perfect for expanding your online presence. It includes up to 100 gigs of storage, ensuring you have plenty of space for your site's data. Weekly backups are also included to safeguard your website's information, giving you a peace of mind. You'll also get one email account, crucial for professional communications, and unlimited SSLs and bandwidth. SSL certificates are vital for securing your site. They act as a trust signal for visitors, protecting them and your business. Consider it like the bad signal. Plus, the plan throws in a free domain name for your site, enhancing your brand's visibility and making it easier for customers customers to find you, which is very important, I'd say. This plan is designed for those looking to significantly grow their online footprints while maintaining security and reliability. 
Next on the list, we have the business plan, which is around $4 a month. This plan really kicks it up a notch with significantly faster site performance, 200 gigs of storage, and e-commerce essentials like WooCommerce integration. It eliminates transaction fees and supports up to 20 different payment methods. I didn't even know there were that many, making it a dream for e-commerce sites. You can also host multiple businesses and manage them all from one dashboard, which is super convenient for online store owners looking to scale. Then there's the cloud startup plan, the credit de la creme setting you back about ten dollars a month this plan allows for up to 300 websites offers performance speeds up to 10 times faster includes a dedicated domain name you can keep forever and gives you priority support for any urgent issues it also smartly connects your sites to the nearest data center slashing loading times i've also dabbled with their vps services which is like marrying a vpn to a server for an ultra secure setup perfect for handling sensitive data like financial info or personal ID IDs, or maybe your search history. We don't want to get into that. VPS plans start at around $5 a month, scaling up to 20 bucks for the top tier features, including 32 gigs of RAM and 400 gigs of storage space. If any of these plans catch your eye, don't forget about that discount link in the description and the site starters code that you can use at checkout. Now that we've covered the breadth of Hostinger's plans and perks, it's time to dive into some drawbacks I've encountered. I know, cue the dramatic gasp. As promised, I'm here to keep it 100% real, so that's what I'm doing. Moreover, security is a big deal for me. It's kind of like having an alarm system for a physical store. However, I've noticed hosting or security offerings for your site are somewhat limited. They provide a free version of Nord, which is a solid firewall and antivirus tool protecting against most viruses, but to get the full suite of protection, there's an additional cost involved. Given the threat of ransomware, where attackers hijack and lock you out of your site, investing in comprehensive protection is really worth considering. Unlike Hostinger, services like Bluehost might be pricier, but offer up to three firewalls, offering that extra layer of security. Hostinger's approach is very much about delivering the essentials without breaking the bank. That said, I'm not the biggest fan of using the AI web builder excessively. It tends to spit out quite generic content, which might not make your sites stand out. Personal touches are really my jam. They engage visitors and add a unique flair to your site. For those dealing with heavy-duty content like large video files or hosting games, Hostinger might not be the best fit. The server space, even in the top-tier plans, is relatively limited and doesn't allow for purchasing additional space. The maximum you can get on the top VPS plan is about 400 gigs, which sounds ample but can fill up quickly with sizable data. If extensive storage is a must-have, it might be worth exploring other options. However, for most sites, even the starting offer of 50 gigs should be enough. Now let's pivot to what I genuinely appreciated about Hostinger and why they're still on my recommended list. Furthermore, Hostinger really stands out for its cost effectiveness and wealth of features it packs into even the most basic plan. It's an ideal choice for beginners or those who don't require a lot of storage but still want an affordable and comprehensive web hosting solution. The convenience of being able to manage multiple websites from a single dashboard is a huge plus for me. It saves the hassle of logging into different accounts constantly. The SEO tool they provide is another highlight. It's user-friendly and impactful enough to boost site visibility significantly. Definitely something that you'd want to do. The performance of the sites hosted on Hostinger is noteworthy too. They're responsive with minimal load times and I've yet to encounter any crashes. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. However, it's worth mentioning that site speed can vary based on how you build your site. To keep things speedy, I suggest going light on resource-heavy elements like animations and video especially on your main page. Diving into their VPS service, I used it for a project that required an extra layer of protection for sensitive client data. It proved to be an effective safeguard with no data breaches or downtime experience. Given the tightening of data protection regulations recently, opting for a VPS can provide peace of mind and security that's well worth the investment. If you're handling sensitive information, I'd strongly recommend considering Hostinger's VPS services to avoid the headaches of potential data security issues. So with all that being said, the big question still remains. Would I recommend Hostinger? Absolutely. Sure, they might not offer the vast space or extensive choice in protection services that Bluehost does, but in terms of simplicity, user-friendliness, and affordability, Hostinger is unmatched. It's particularly great for startups or small businesses just starting out or looking for a budget-friendly hosting option. One thing I really appreciate about Hostinger is how they distribute their features across all plans, ensuring that even the entry-level options offer tremendous value for money, a rarity in the web hosting space. Their servers are reliable, 
reliable, avoiding any slowdowns or crashes from my experience, and their web development tools are straightforward, making site building accessible even for beginners. The thought of going back to managing websites the traditional way, juggling multiple WordPress logins to update or tweak each site seems unfathomable now. Things of a nightmare, really. Hosting or simplifies everything, centralizing the process and saving a ton of time and effort. Whether you're managing a single site or multiple, hosting is a really smart choice that could just not save you money, but also a lot of stress. And that wraps up my review of Hostinger. I hope this gives you a better idea of what they offer and helps you decide if they're the right fit for you. For those new to web hosting, choosing a simple no-fuss tool like Hostinger can make a world of difference. Their quick, dependable, and streamlined site maintenance allowing you to focus more on your business and less on the back end. And remember, if you're interested in trying out Hostinger, don't forget to use the site starters code with the discount link in the description, something you won't find directly on their website. If you've got any more questions or need specific information, feel free to drop a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. As always though, thank you so much for watching guys. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more straightforward reviews, but until next time, take care.